All right, fantastic. Well, let me just get my mouse pointer so everybody can see it here. There we go. All right, well, uh, thanks for having me here today. Uh, as Reed said, my name is Brian D'Amico. I'm the manager of educational services at VectorVest. I'm very excited to be here today. Uh, we do have a ton of uh, great information to cover today. Uh, just so you know, uh, I've been working in the markets, as Reed said, for over 13 years. And many years ago, I was actually a third grade teacher. So some of that flows through in, uh, in my teaching style. So I do like to have fun uh, with, uh, while I'm teaching. So hopefully you're okay with that. And I can also promise that I'll give you everything I possibly can. And at the end, I'm going to show you a system where you can put it all together and start using the information starting tomorrow. So sound good? Perfect. All right. So I'd like to just quickly share how you can get the most out of the session. Um, Pretty no-brainer things, but make sure you have a, the tools that you need to get the most out of it. Pen, paper, and something to drink uh, so you can take some notes. Get rid of things that might distract you. I know there's kind of a lot of sessions going on here, but don't multitask. You know, close your door, turn off your ringer so you can really focus and really get to the third get, which is get ready to learn. All right? Well, I think you made a great decision to attend this webcast here because um, we're going to be looking at the three techniques to help you capture the trades of a lifetime. And then we're going to do that by finding these technical crossovers. I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly. So actually my goal is to give you information in this session that you can start implementing right away. Now, like I said, I've been here at Vectress like 13 some odd years. In my first seven years here, I would talk to customers on the phone quite a bit. And they would consider themselves technical traders. And I'm telling you the top question that I would get asked is this. You know, they'd say, hey, can I search for stocks that are having a technical crossover? And for a while, my answer was no. But you know, now, not only is my answer yes, but today I'm going to show you how you can not only search for those technical crossovers, but how VectorVest can do it for you and send you the results no matter where you are. So in today's webinar, you're going to learn several things. And again, I recommend you have a pen and paper handy to take some notes. Uh, first, I'll show you how to use three of the top technical indicators. So I'm going to show you what they are and what to look for on a graph. So we're going to go through some examples. And number two, I'm going to show you a way to easily search through stocks and within seconds find stocks meeting those patterns. And then third, I'm going to show you how to set Vectress up to automatically alert you of trading opportunities so you don't, uh, and you don't even need to be near your computer to get those alerts. So quick personal story. Prior to having those things with Vectress, I think I was like a lot of technical traders where you have to go through a lot of charts, right? like going through graph after graph, you know, spending hours <laughs> going through these charts. And literally, you know, I just got so frustrated, I just forgot about it. I'm just like, I can't keep doing this. I got two children at home. I got a family. I got a job to do. So I just said, forget about it. And about six years ago or so, Vectress created some tools which really simplify the process. Right? So it, in fact, using those tools that I'm going to show you today, I was actually able to build a search and a whole trading plan around it and set it up to run automatically in our company-wide trading competition. And it's been running for the last two years. It's got 82% winning trades. Uh, I mean, here's just another look. I mean, it's up 63% over the past couple of years. And you can see there are uh, almost 83% winning trades at this point. So I'm going to be talking about the settings of that search during today's webinar. And if you stick to the end, I'm going to give you a way to get the settings of that search with click-by-click -click directions on how to build it. So, you know, we all know the saying time is money, right? Uh, so for me, the time that I was saving equaled freedom to do more of what I wanted to do. And so today I'm here to share that information with you so you can have the same thing. And you can have that, you know, opportunity for more gains and, you know, more time back in your life. So let's get right to it. And like I said, we got a ton to cover today. So let's look at the three top technical indicators. And we're going to start off with MACD. All right, so MACD, for those of you who don't know, is Moving Average Convergence Divergence. It's a great indicator to help pinpoint meaningful changes in the stock's price direction. All right, so I pulled up, I have some preset examples just to really save us some time. You know, here we're looking at Johnson & Johnson, and I've added MACD to the graph, and the most common use is to look for times when this MACD histogram crosses above or below this zero line. It's a great indication that there's a change in the stock's price trend. Now you can see several examples here, and really, just go, you can prove this to yourself on any chart. And I just want you to ask yourself, and you can feel free to type this into the chat box. Just but ask yourself, did you have a chance to make money 
when this crossover happens. So if you look up here, I think that's a pretty no-brainer, right? There's a chance there. If we go back to this other one, maybe a slight chance, but maybe you would have walked away break even on that one. You know, they're not all going to be, you know, working out perfectly. If we go back over here, yeah, definitely to this other one, that's a no-brainer. Definitely on that one. Uh, this one a slight gain. This one maybe you walk away break even, and this one a, a gain as well. And that's really what you just want to prove to yourself is, is that these crossovers more times than not, they're going to give you buying opportunities. All right, so we're going to be looking for these MACD crossovers of this histogram. All right, and I, usually I, I, when I do this uh, in our own setting, I, I just kind of throw up a poll on asking how many people use MACD, and I'm just going to say the stats. I mean, we, when I do this uh, to our clients, about 50% of investors out there say they're trading using MACD, and that's quite a bit. So it almost becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy to be looking for these crossovers so then as we go, it's going to, we're going to, it's all going to be all about speed. Right? It's going to be all about speed. And here we're, uh, I see a question come in from John. We're going to be look. this is using kind of the industry standard 12, 26, and 9 settings for the MACD. Right, so those are looking at some positive crossovers, but let's also look at the, the negative crossovers, such as this one. In these negative crossovers, I mean, we've got to ask ourselves, would they have helped us protect profits? Or, you know, if we're not in a trade, to help us initiate uh, maybe a short position. But in general, let's just think, let's become defensive on a position that we already own. You know, let me ask you, I mean, would this have been a good time to either exit that position or, you know, become defensive? Yeah, right? I mean, look, at it just dropped after that. And this, this one, they don't, they're not always going to be this perfect <laughs> where they're up at the top like this. Um, but as you can see, it does happen. And when the MACD crossover turns negative, it's a great time to either you can close the position if you're in it long, you could uh, buy puts as an insurance policy, but we're, either way we're going to become defensive. So in general, MACD crossovers not only are great entry signals, you can use the negative crossovers as a way to exit your trades. All right, so that's MACD, and I'm going to come back to MACD because there's other things I want to show you on MACD in a minute. But another popular technical indicator is support and resistance. Right. One of the great things about working here at VectorVest, which I really haven't seen anywhere else, it might be out there by now, people might have caught up to us, but is that we actually have a way to automatically draw these support and resistance levels on the chart for you. Everywhere else you know, I've seen requires you to actually draw the, the levels. So now before we get too deep, uh, let's talk about what support and resistance is. All right, so basically a support level, like this one down here, I mean, it's just a level where price stops going down and starts to go back up again. See, like I was, I, someone in a prior webinar said they liked it when I referred to it as a pogo stick. You know, I've got a ten-year-old son. He, I picture him on his pogo stick, doing, doing, doing. You know, it's like price just continually hits the support level, and um, well, it creates a support level when it stops going down, starts to go back up. Now, on the flip side, you've got an area up here which is called resistance. And it's just a point where stock prices have stopped going up and started to come back down usually multiple times. Now I want you to think about support and resistance as the ultimate crowd mentality indicator. And you think about this. I mean, I mean, we've all invested in the market before, and I'm sure we've bought a stock. And so let me ask you this. I mean, here's a stock back here. It was kind of flat, right? And then it popped up. Let's say you bought it here. I mean, you're patting yourself on the back because this thing is rising and rising, and then it drops, right? right? It's down here. All right, so now you're sitting there kicking yourself, right? What do you say to yourself? You say, if it ever gets back up to there, I'm going to do what? You know, in the chat box, let me, let me know. What are you going to do? You say, man, if that stock, if it ever gets back up there again, I'm going to do what? I'm going to sell, right? Yeah. Uh, Meredith says, close the position. Jose says, sell. Yeah. And there's a lot of other people out there like you. So look what happens. Price comes up, comes up, comes up. It gets back up near where it did before. 
And all the people who did not sell it back here are putting selling pressure on it over here, and it typically begins to move back down. And you can see it again over here. So that's what I'm saying. It's the ultimate crowd mentality indicator. So let's talk about how to use support and resistance in our trading. And you know, Richard actually is getting ahead of the game. I mean, he's starting to talk about buying puts, and that we're actually going to talk about how we can start to implement that here in just a second. So there's going to be four things. So if you've got that pen and paper handy, we're going to talk about two things to use support and resistance for for buying and two for selling or buying puts, <laughs> as Richard says. So number one, we've got two things for buying. If you see price come down and hit a support level and bounce off of it and start to move back up, now that's a key point. It's got to bounce off and start to move back up. That's bullish. Typically, what would happen is price will continue to rise until the, the, a level of resistance. Right, so bounce off support. Now, again, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. All the people who did not buy it back here when it hit bottom and moved back up are now thinking, oh, man, I'm going to buy it. And it's putting upwards pressure on the stock's price. And typically, it will continue to go up until an area of resistance. Right, so that's one way to look at it for buying. Uh, the second buying opportunity is when you see price break through resistance. And I got an example over here. See, it created resistance here. It came up. And you see how it tested it a little bit here? But then look at this. It broke through. And it, they're not always as emphatic as this, but this broke through. I mean, think about what's happening here. We already said that there was built-in selling pressure right around this level. So a stock is now able to overcome that, right? overcome that resistance and bust through it and that's bullish typically what's going to happen is it'll continue to rise until the next area of resistance All right now let's talk about becoming defensive there's so there's two things that we could do to either initiate short positions to become defensive or as Richard says uh, to buy puts and so number one is if you see price hitting resistance and beginning to move back down. And you can see an example down here. And you can see a couple of examples up here. All right, so you can see it hitting resistance and starting to move back down. Hitting resistance, starting to move back down. All right, if you see that, you definitely want to become defensive. Because typically what will happen is price will continue to fall until the previous level of support. Now, unfortunately, I don't know why I can't get this out of my head. I, I think of my son on his pogo stick, right? Doing, doing, doing. And let's see, he bounces on the floor and hits his head on the ceiling. Well, he's going to hurt his head, and then he's going to fall until he lands on the floor. And that's typically what stock prices do. They'll hit resistance, and if they start to come down, they're going to fall until a, 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 excuse me, a support level. So when you see this, if you have a stock in your portfolio and it's hitting some, uh, resistance and starting to move back down, as uh, Richard said, you could buy puts, you could uh, sell some of your shares, you could sell all of them, just become defensive. Now the second thing uh, is if you see price breaking through support. Now this is actually an example that did not work out. It broke down through support, it did not follow through the next day with continued uh, movement down. A lot of times what you're going to see if, this, if price breaks down through support, it continues to fall until the next level of support. Just like if my son on his pogo stick broke through the fifth floor of a building, he would fall until he landed on the fourth floor and kind of test that out to see if it was able to hold him. All right, so that's support and resistance. And in a, in a minute, we're going to talk about how to find these stocks, right? So the next one, and not a lot of people, uh, about a year ago, not a lot of people used this one, but over the past year, I've been teaching more and more about using stochastics, especially to our client base, and I'm now seeing about 30% or more of people, of uh, technical traders, using this more and more. So it's actually, and it's actually one that I use in the trading plan that I showed earlier, so I'm pretty excited about it. Now this is an oscillator and it helps pinpoint overbought and oversold positions, or excuse me, conditions. All right, don't let all these squiggly lines freak you out. All right, so let's take a closer look. I've got Merck here as an example. 
So here on the, uh, by the way, stochastics is on a 0 to a 100 scale. And the things that we want uh, to look at are the levels of 20 and 80. And David, yes, it, you can see, I don't know if you can see it over here, we're looking at slow. All right, so here we're looking at the level of 20. All right, so this is a key level with stochastics, the level of 20. It was down here. I, I just want you to notice something. You can type in the chat box. When stochastics is below 20, let me get my little pen out here. When you see stochastics go below 20, let's just ask ourselves, is the stock's price somewhere near a bottom? I'm not saying it was exactly at a bottom, but was it somewhere near a bottom? And I'm going to do my best to circle these things. All right, we're not trying to nail the exact day, but is it somewhere near the bottom? It, that's all we're trying to get across. So I see yes, I see yes, I see closer to a low. Yeah, it's, it's getting closer to the low, right? And that's the key thing. When, it's, when it goes below 20, your antenna go up. You're like, all right, I'm, I'm paying attention now. So now we need to, all we need to look for is a buying opportunity. All right, so we're going to be looking for stochastics to be rising up above 20, up above 20, up above 20, because if you match that up to what's going on with the stock's price, you can see it's telling you that that price is coming off a bottom. All right, so that, that's what we want to look for, stochastics to be coming up above 20. In a minute, I'm going to show you how to, an easy way to do this. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, we've got the level of 80, now, there's other ways to use this. The most effective way that I've personally been using this is just to tell me when it's not a good time to initiate a, a long position. Because if you look at when eight, it's above 80, the stock's price is not exploding off of a bottom anymore. Yeah, there are times where it's still trending up, but it's, let me try and get this one. You can see instances like this. I mean, it still can trend up, but a lot of times it is, somewhere near a top. There's more downside risk. All right? So what we've done so far is we've looked at three popular technical indicators. All right? So, I mean, if, now some of the people in this webcast today might be already technical traders, but let me ask you this. You know, just knowing that information, you know, whether you just learned it today or whether you already knew it, you know, just knowing this information now, would you say that this information could help you in your trading? You know, just by pulling up charts. It's in the chat box. Just let me know. So I see an absolutely, I see a yes, I see a Y, I see a Y, I see a yes, I see a Y. A, a, one, one, letter, one letter group, Y, 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 Y. <laughs> and one person says it can supplement your trading. Definitely. All right. Now, it's all about finding this information quickly. Because the thing that used to frustrate me was having to look at tons and tons of charts to find this. So it's going to be all about speed, too, because there's so many of you out there that look for this stuff. And I'm telling you, if you're one of the first ones to start to react, and then you have the other 50% of the traders out there who use that indicator buying after you, they're going to help push the price up for you. So what we want to do is, instead of doing things the hard way, which is look at chart after chart after chart, let's do things the easy way. And this is where I'm going to start to show you some of the tools that are built into VectorVest that will really help you out. All right, so VectorVest has dramatically simplified the process for us. So let me show you what we do. Here I've I'm already opened it up to our, uh, it's called the Unisearch tool. All right, over on the left-hand side, we have a folder called Pro Trader, and that's where we put all of our technical searches. Now, you can see there's a bunch in there that are pre-built. You could always modify them, create your own. But you can see we've got moving average crossovers. We get support and resistance, DPO, RSI, MACD. I mean, there's a whole bunch of the ones in there. In the time we've got today, let's look at two of them. One of them is going to be this MACD crossover search. There's a ton of people use MACD. Now, when I click on this search, you can see the criteria over here, and this first line really gives us a lot of information. It's going to be telling us that this search is going to be looking for stocks that had a MACD crossover. So here's some free information. I'm just going to run this search. As of right now, you can see I'm logged into our real-time platform, 
2.52 p.m. I ran the search and we track over 8,000 stocks here in the U.S. Did you see how fast that ran? It immediately brought back all of the stocks who had a MACD crossover right now compared to yesterday's close of that, you know, that yellow histogram. And they're right there for us. The other benefit that you get with Vectorvest is, you know, they're not just in here randomly. If they're not just in here randomly, these stocks are immediately sorted by our master indicator, which is VST. But the main thing I want you to understand is that they're sorted so the stocks are the best combination of value, safety, and timing are at the top. So let me just put that another way. You've got MACD crossovers in this list, and the ones with the best combination of value, safety, and timing are at the top. All right, so number one, that's an, a, an immediate time saver for you. So if you want the cherry pick from this list, you could. So while you can run the searches any day, any time you want, one of the biggest benefits that Vectorvest gives you is you're going to know exactly when to run these as well because we have market timing signals. All right, let me just quickly show you this. Let me go to the graphs tab. Here's our... This is our market timing graph. Let me just take this off here for now. Now, this is what we call our Vectorvest composite. It's where we're averaging all 8,000 stocks. It's a great representation of the market. Uh, in the time I've got today, I'm just, we've got a market timing signal, which analyzes the market based on technical indicators. Basically, green is a bullish sign. The red is going to be a bearish sign. And, you know, it just populates in here for you. Now, you can see when the market is trending, these are doing some absolutely great job of telling you it's okay to buy. Like right here, this was the most recent signal, February 3rd, got you into the market that day. Now when the market's going sideways, any signal on the planet, there's going to be some oscillation there. It's going to go you know, from bullish to bearish to bullish to bearish when the market's moving sideways. There's nothing you could do to prevent that. But then when the market's trending, look at this, you get in here. This is a, you get out on that one. I mean, it does a really great job let me show how you can marry the two things together. So we're going to combine these signals with our stock selection. You know, we're just going to use that MACD search. So let's take a look. Our most recent signal was February 3rd. So let's just go to the Unisearch and let's just see what life would have been like back on February 3rd. So here, had you run the search the night of February 3rd, maybe you came home from work and you ran the search because we had an up signal. I'm going to use this tool up here up here called quick test and let's just do five stocks. Right, we're going to test the five stocks and all it's doing is comparing the price on the day that the signal came to uh, the day today <laughs> actually. Um, so let's see. Now we did have one go against us but four out of the five went up. All right, one percent, right? And we're only a couple of weeks in. Now about one percent, all we did is just buy stocks based on an up signal. All right, so that's one one signal. Let's go back over here. Let's see how this other trending one. Now I'm gonna, I know you're going to think, what about all these other ones? Number one, I don't have time to show them all. And number two, you're either going to have slight gains, slight losses, or break-evens um, throughout this thing. So there's no real point in going through these. But let's take a look here. This went from October 28th until December 10th. So if we had done this, where is it? October 28th. And let's test the top five. And let's end it on December 10th. And let's just see what would have happened here. All right, cool. We're 11.5% in, what is that, a month and a half-ish? Right? So what we're doing is we're just marrying stock selection with market timing. Again, just, I mean, you could have time back in your life. All right, so let's do this. Let's make it so that Vectorvest will alert us when a trade needs to be made, even if we're away from the computer. All right, so check this out. Oh, let me go back to Vectorvest. There we go. Now, while I'm showing it to you, let me give you a recommended stop criteria, because you don't want to just manage the, uh, let, like buy and hold these things. You, you do want to manage these positions. I was, remember, I wanted to give you information you could use right away. So watch what you could do in Vectorvest. You can go to, just go to Portfolios, create a brand new portfolio. So let's just call this one 
MACD in what's today? The, uh, the 26th, right? And you can set it up with however much money you've got in your trading that you want to invest in this trading plan. I'll just leave it as 100000 for now. All right, so now I'm going to just build a system with Vectorvest using this little auto timer feature. I could build my own little trading system. Now, of course, you're still going to need your broker, but this is going to alert you of these trades. So I'm going to just build this a little quickly here. So I'm going to tell this every time I get one of those market signals, anytime I get one of the green ones, I want to run that MACD search. And I just want to sell a stock if it gains 20%. And if I lose 10%, I want to sell it too. And how about we only do five positions? And anytime a red signal comes, I want to go to cash. And I'm going to hit save. So now watch what it does. All right, I got to give it a second. It's got to see how the little green thing is spinning around. Currently, we are in an up signal. All right, so what it did is it ran the search in the background, it found the top five stocks, figured out how many shares to buy, and put them into this portfolio. And you would have gotten an alert in your email saying, hey, here are the top stocks, here are the number of shares, and now it's going to be managing this portfolio for you. So if you were to mimic this with your broker, if one of these stocks met a stop criteria, it would then send you an alert saying, hey, Bob, um, Stock XYZ needs to be sold. And then it would say, hey, Bob, stock ABC needs to be bought. Pretty cool stuff. You don't even have to be near the computer for this. I want to show you, two weeks ago, exactly two weeks ago, I did this webcast to another group of people. Here's that, the same thing we did. All right? Same exact thing that we just did here today. We set it up. It's up 6% in two weeks. Same exact thing. I mean, you could do the same thing yourself. Pretty cool stuff. It's up 2.8% 2, 2 today, mostly because of AVGO, up 14%. But, hey, that kind of stuff could happen. All right? So, uh, well, that, that's MACD. On average, that technique that I just showed you can return around 25% a year with very minimal drawdown based on the, all the examples that I've done over the past year and a half with live audiences. All right, so let's look at one more example in the time that we've got. And I actually use an ex a variation of this search in that trading plan I showed before. It's called Stochastics and EMA, which is Exponential Moving Average Killer Crossover. All right, remember, with Stochastics, what did we want? We wanted Stochastics to be rising up above 20. Well, that's exactly what this search is doing. Check this out. Stochastics has crossed above 20 either today or yesterday, so any time in the past two days. But it's also making sure that price has crossed above the 10-day, the 20-day, and the 30-day exponential moving average in the past two days. I mean, imagine trying to do that on your own by looking at chart after chart. I mean, it would take a while. Look how fast, I mean, let me just bring this up to current. Look how fast this does it when I just hit run search. It'll find the stocks within a couple of seconds. Why don't we do this? Let's see what would have happened. Right? Remember we had a signal, the most recent signal was on February 3rd. If you were sitting at your computer and you saw that signal come on February 3rd, you would have just come in here, run the search, here are the top stocks. Let's see how the top five did. 2.6%. Good. Four of them went up. One of them went down. I'm up almost 3% in two weeks, maybe three weeks, right? All right. Let's uh, maybe you wanted to test out uh, more than five. How about 10? All right. Eight of them went up. Two of them went down. We're up almost 5% uh, in a few weeks, 74% if you annualize that. And think about the time savings. All, right, all you're doing is get a signal and you come in here and you run the search and it does all that stuff for you. And so, I mean, all we're doing is matching our stock selection based on a technical chart pattern with the market's trend. And remember, there's so many of you out there that use these technical indicators. It's all about speed. And by doing this, you're able to get in almost before everybody else, so that, and everybody else is then pushing the stuff up for you. 
All right, now let's kind of summarize a little bit about what we were just talking about here. I mean, you probably attended this. I mean, you, you registered for this particular webcast for a few reasons. I'm just going to make a few educated guesses. Now, you did want it, you wanted to learn how to effectively use popular technical indicators in your trading. You wanted to see how you could easily search for those stocks, meeting those patterns. And you want to see how Vectorist could alert you of those possible trades. But I hope you also saw a couple of things. Number one, how you could use our market timing signals to tell you when to place these trades, which will really enhance your performance. And here's a key thing. I hope you also saw the time that Vectorist would save you and how important that speed is to your performance. I mean, so the obvious question, I mean, you, you, you've been to other, maybe some of the other presentations today, but you know, I mean, the obvious question that you probably have right now is, you know, how can I get those tools up and running myself? Well, let me point something out first. All right, it's something that Albert Einstein said. And he said, hey, everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. I want you to understand that this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. I mean, it's not something where you should expect results in the next 24 hours. I mean, if you're here thinking, I'm, I got some magic solution that's going to make you a millionaire tomorrow, you're in the wrong spot. All right? This is serious. I mean, if you're not going to commit to it, then don't do it. I mean, it's not for you. It's for serious pay people who take their trading seriously, who are willing to put some time in to learn the system. I mean, but that's why Vectorus was created, why we put together this special offer for you, it's for serious traders who want a simple way to find their trades. We've broken it down to these four components. Let me tell you what you would get. All right? First of all, it's all about knowing when to place your trades. You're going to get clear entry points into the market. It takes all the guesswork out. It's going to tell you when it is safe to be buying stocks. All right? On the flip side, you're also going to know when to exit the market. Once again, you're going to have very clear signals telling you what, when it's not a good time to be buying, and in fact, when you should be exiting the market. All right, so that's component number one. Component number two is you get those fundamental and technical charts. All right, you're going to be able to chart over 30 fundamental and 11 technical indicators, and that includes those support and resistance levels, you know, those lines automatically drawn for you on the charts. And I, can, I think they're some of the best looking charts out there, crisp and clean and beautiful. Now component number three, you get those pro trader searches that we looked at. We only had a time today to look at just a few, uh, just a couple. All right. With those pro trader searches, you can easily find what stocks to trade because within seconds you're able to find stocks that meet your desired technical pattern. We've got 12 types of crossover searches, channel breakouts, support and resistance searches. Now here's a tool that you're also going to get that we didn't talk about today, unfortunately. It's called the Watchdog tool. All right, this is our advanced alerting system that monitors the entire market for you. So you could set this watchdog up to look for MACD crossovers. You don't even have to own the stock. It'll just be watching all, the entire market for you. We track over 8,000 stocks. And then any time a MACD crossover occurs during the day, sorry for the pun, folks, it'll bark. <laughs> it'll bark at you and say, hey, guess what? This stock just had a MACD crossover. You might want to check it out. So it's going to be scanning the market for you all the time. And, you, and again, you could be out shopping or playing golf and they'll send you those alerts. But that's included today. You're also going to get a plugin called the Auto Timer. All right. We used this feature today when we set up our MACD portfolio. It's hands-off portfolio management. All right. By plugging this in with the portfolio, you're going to be able to you know, watch your portfolio for stop criteria, market timing signal changes. All right, so that's included today. So you're going to get our market timing gauge and color guard, which gives you those signals on when to buy and when to sell, fundamental and technical charting, support and resistance levels drawn for you, those three plugins that we were looking at here, plus real-time data with this offer. All right, now if you want to buy all this stuff on its own, you, know, you can go to our website. I mean, we sell it for $137 a month. Uh, even though it's worth a lot more than that. But well, we've got a special offer for you to start to check it out today. But in addition, we want to give you a few bonuses. Number one, we will give you a one-on-one -on -one consultation where one of our consultants will sit down with you, help you install it, help you analyze your existing portfolio. But this is the one I, I really love. 
you're going to be included on in our group coaching program. This is how it works. You know, because we don't want to just give you this content and say, hey, good luck. You know, we want to give you this content and help you apply that content. So we're going to work with you in our group coaching program, and it's only for our customers who are on our real-time platform. So 10 weeks in this coaching program, here's how it works. Every other week we get together on a webcast kind of like this. You're automatically registered for it. We'll give you tips and techniques on how to use it. We'll discuss what's going on in the market and what our market timing indicators are saying. If you need any help with any part of the system, we'll help you out. That's valued at over $400. So I mean, it's all about having the tools that you need to have a trading plan that you trust to make the best trades at the best time and to drastically reduce the amount of time that you spend analyzing your trades. All right, so you're going to get 10 weeks of Vectors real time, the one-on-one -on -one consultation, 10 weeks of the coaching, total value over $900. Today only, only $29 for 10 weeks of Vectors real time. Now, this is a, just a webcast special only. You can't get this just by going to our site. But go to VectorVest.com slash trade better. All right, so you're going to type that into the box, www. Actually, let me just type it in here for you, VectorVest.com slash trade better. All right, just use that link. All right, now, folks, this is also completely guaranteed, by the way. You know, if for some reason you don't, uh, you don't like it in the first 30 days, just give us a call. We'll give you all your money back. Right? But it, it gives you that peace of mind. I mean, we're very confident you're going to love what you get. But just keep in mind, you're not locked into any contracts with us. Now, folks, if you order in the next 60 minutes, what I'll do is I'll send you the complete trading plan that I've used for the last two years in that employee uh, contest portfolio. It'll have click-by-click -click directions on creating the search, along with the portfolio settings, the stop criteria, everything that you need to set it up to run automatically in a VectorS portfolio of your very own. Now remember, since 2013, it's had 107 winning trades, 22 losing trades. Now here's a note I got from Barry. He said, hey, Brian, I took you up on your offer of going to real time with VectorS in the last couple of weeks. Have used a variation of your stochastics and EMA crossover technique with great success already. Thank you and VectorS very much. Again, it's only $29 for 10 weeks. This is a complete no-brainer in my mind. You know, for 10 weeks, and this is real-time data. I mean, you don't even, you don't even need to look at your broker for real-time data. You're going to get real-time data for $29 for 10 weeks, plus all the tools that we talked about. Again, complete no-brainer in my mind. Again, in order to get it, got to go to vectorscom slash trade better. I mean, we'd love to see you with us. We look forward to working with you, especially in those group coaching sessions. You know, here's my little thank you sign. Uh, thank you for being here today. Now, I'm gonna, I see I got a couple of uh, minutes here. Let me just, I see a couple of questions coming in. Um, I see domestic stock market. You know, what I, we were looking at here was for the U.S. market, but we also have uh, products. We have a Vectorvest Canada product. We have a Vectorvest. Uh, we have like seven other regions. Um, if you live outside the U.S., you're going to get as an extra bonus, your own region, for example, Canada, plus the U.S. for the same price. All right. Um, great question. Uh, Am says, what's the price after the $29? Uh, let me just quickly pull this up. Let me see if I can. Uh, I got a couple minutes. Now uh, let's go to our. I got to pull it over to the other screen. Hold on one second. Great question on the pricing. So here's our regular, here's our website uh, products. See, the great thing is during the 10 weeks, you're getting the top end product. Um, then you can see during your 10 weeks, if you find, eh, you know, I, I don't need the the real time, which by the way would convert to the 129 plus eight dollar exchange fee. So that's why I says 137. Now you could say, well, I want the 89 or the 59. So you could let us know during the any time during the 10 weeks. Great question. Um, uh, Sanjeev, there you go, that's the, the answer. After the, the 10 weeks, it would automatically convert to real time, which you get all the bonuses that we covered today uh, with that, the pro trader and all those other items. Um, if you choose to go to one of the other ones, I mean, you do lose out on some of the, the plugins that we looked at today. Um, uh, yeah, it's not necessarily for Forex, sorry, KM. 
uh, we don't track Forex. Uh, let's see, does the package include options? It'll let you know whether the stocks are optionable. You can do a couple of things with options as far as looking at the pricing model uh, to check the value of them. Um, it's not going to do some of the other fancy schmancy things with options. No, not with futures. Um, uh, Michael, does Vectors have a Fibonacci indicator? Yeah, if you pull up a, I'm just going to use this graph as an example. I mean, you could add Fibonacci in here. I know that the gentleman before me was talking about Fibonacci's, uh, so you can you know draw these lines in here as well on the charts. Uh, yes, free, uh, Freddie, available for Canadian and European stocks. Yep, I'm logged into our U.S. product. Um, we do have a Canadian version um, and a European version. Now, there's no real-time data for our European version. It's an end-of-day product. Uh, Michael says, awesome. Let's see. I see you got like a minute and a half. Let's see. Uh, which can be dovetailed in a chart. Does Vectress offer a trading platform? No, we don't have a trading platform. We do connect to a, one or two brokers, but uh, you still need to have the broker. Um, oh, yeah, can you change the background color? Yeah, you're not locked into the black. You can change it to it. It's fully customizable, but the other one that you can change it to is white, if you like white better. Um, it hurts my eyes sometimes, so I like the black. Um, all right, well, let me just quickly go back over here. I know we only have a, about a minute left, so if you want to order, just go to vectorist.com slash trade better. If you order in the next 60 minutes, you get that PDF with uh, the trading plan details. I mean, we would love to see you with us. I, I truly look forward to working with you for the next 10 weeks uh, for this 29, and then from then on, too. Um, so it is great to have you with us. I see Johnny says, is it PC and iMac? It's a PC-based platform. We do have an iPad and iPhone app. They're not as fully functional as the as the uh, the PC version, you know, as the the full version on the computer. You're welcome, Marita, and I'm gonna sign out here. Thanks again, Reed. I really appreciate you having us here today.